XRP, we start with one hour chart. Okay, if we refer to our analysis, when the price was here, we mentioned we expecting the price to drop and break this low. The low which we point on here is 0 0.455. Okay, as we can see, the price dropped, but the width dropping is quite corrective. Okay, this is one thing I need to highlight here that mostly we, if we want to look for the down move, the, the price to break this move, we, we expect the sharp move not the corrective, okay. Now the thing is, first of all, if you wanna look for the continuation, we need to get the correction here for one more drop. And from there we need to, if I get one more drop, we wanna see how it's moving and how deep it can go. And whatever we have right now is just a corrective, we cannot conclude, okay. Anyway, for continuation, we need to get a correction that can come from four next move down. And first of all, and uh, sorry, and second, if we put this one in relative to this, MACD doesn't show anything, but the another one shows us the divergence, and that's why we, we mostly we can expect to get the one more correction here. And even if we move to 15 minutes, we will see the way is moving. All right, every time give a small correction and give us one more drop. How deep it can go if we want to look for sell, whether based on 15 minutes or one hour chart, any sell we consider as a short term sell. Okay as what we have right now. And based on 15 minutes also, we can see the divergence based on MACD and both of the indicators. Okay, but my divergence based on 15 minutes doesn't show us anything. So now the question is how we can trade it. First, we move to forward chart. Based on forward chart, as you can see, there is no much changes in relative to our analysis. Still, we whatever we have is same. The only thing is we have been within this down move, we were looking for the down move. But right now, this is what we get. We wanna see whether this is the start of the down move or still this one is a part of this move for one move up. Because as I mentioned, the way is moving is quite corrective. All right, maybe this one can be in relative to similar to what we have here. I don't see the real in relative as it's a similar for one move up to if the price reverse to the this top, still we can expect we are within this move. All right, that's why we need to see how deep this one can go. Okay, anyway, there is no more changes. And we mentioned if the price give us one more drop, at least to retest 0 0.39, then from there we can get better trade setup because what we have here is structurally, we can expect the price to drop. Okay, this is what we have been mentioning. And if we move to one hour chart, as I mentioned, if you wanna look for down, I mean, look for sell, we need to get a correction. And how about if we get the reversal from here? If you wanna trade, I mean, how we can look for buy? The only way is right now, if we put our trend line here with a breakout with a sharp move flag. And the sharp, if, I mean, we look for the sharp move with the flag. And if we wanna get this, I mean, the flag, we prefer to be above the top, all right? Because easily we can get the flag internally here, the price can take the top. It give us a bigger correction for one more drop, okay? For example, if we put our trend line here, May I move to 15 minutes, it will be more clear, but since it's based on lower time frame, maybe we don't get a really good trade, depends on the traders. For example, if we put our line here, if we get any sharp move with the flag, if anyone wants to trade based on lower time frame, when the price come to this top, they start to manage it. What which is the top is 0 0.47, okay? But that's why I mentioned if we want to look for any buy, we prefer the sharp move with the breakout of this before we take the trade. Again, the breakout of 0 0.47, we call it three. Okay. Anyway, we don't have any trade set up right now. The only thing is we want to see how deep this one can go. Whether we are, we are more interested to get one more correction for to give us a, I mean, the correction for one more drop. All right. And one more thing. How about if the price sharply reverse from here? Can we move over? I mean, can we have entry above the stop or here? All right. If we want to have entry above the stop, as I mentioned, even we get the sharp move, still we can expect the price to take, give us a different type of the flat for one more drop. That's why if anyone wants to put here, they should be quite careful. I don't suggest that. May they can have entry above the stop. If they want to have entry above the stop, which is 0 0.8. 8.9, sorry, 0 0.49 or 4.96. There is no much different. That's why in three above the top is still we suggest here. Okay, but we prefer not to do it right now. We prefer 
we let the price drop a bit more we confirm with this move before we look for the trade setup because i explained my last analysis why having a trade over the top we are not really interested in anyway we don't have any trade setup we just follow whatever we have here we want to see whether we can get that i mean the price can continue and give us a down move or not in this case if i see if follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks